Hello and welcome. My name is Alexander Fjenset and I'm a professional fine artist in Sweden painting mostly with oil paints. Today I want to talk about color studies. I want to tell you why I almost never start a painting without doing one or several color studies first and why it probably is a good idea for you to do so as well. I work both from photos and from life. While the argument can certainly be made that painting and color study is a great idea no matter what your reference material is, I don't do color studies when I'm painting from life. I just jump straight into making a finished painting. When I'm working from photos, however, it's a different story. I usually don't want to just copy an image, but instead turn it into a painting. This means I need to make creative decisions regarding composition and color. Compositional work, figuring out where I want everything to go, combining different images, etc. That's something I can do digitally in Photoshop. And the same goes for color. I can easily shift and experiment with color in Photoshop. Why then spend time painting a small color study instead of just jumping straight into your planned painting if you already have everything planned out in digital form? Well, for me, it's because I want to figure out what that digital image will look like as a painting. There's a translation process which happens naturally when you paint. No two painters will paint the same painting, even if they're looking at the same scene or image. Since the painting deliberately will not look like an exact copy of the image, I want to figure certain things out before I start working on the full-size painting. I want to see if the palette of oil colors I have in mind for the painting will work, if I need to add or change colors, or if I see that maybe a color can be excluded from the palette. I will find that out by doing this small painting study and can easily make those adjustments. It's just so much more work adjusting and repainting a full-sized painting, and I've learned that the hard way. Another great thing about doing small studies is how they force me to simplify and focus on the whole of the image instead of drilling down and getting lost in detail. If I start painting the final picture right away, I may end up losing focus of the composition as a whole and putting a lot more detail into an image than I want, instead of leaving certain areas less refined and thereby creating contrast within the image, not only with light and dark tones, different colors and compositional elements, but also with different levels of rendering. In my opinion, it ultimately makes for a more interesting image. Photos can be packed with information and detail, and painting a simplified version reminds me that it's not the detail that carries an image, but the overall look and feel. Detail is just the cherry on top. It's for this reason I don't paint the eyes of the owl in this color study. In the final painting, they will be the focal point but I want to make sure that the image works well even without them. Much like testing that the foundation of a cake tastes good before you put the cream and cherry on top. Weird analogy, but you get what I mean. Finally, the small size of a color study allows me to quickly experiment with things I prefer doing with paint as opposed to with Photoshop. Perhaps I want to use parts of an image and create a new background for them from imagination. Maybe I'm choosing between photos and want to find out which one is the most fun to paint. There could be several photos that look good, but maybe only one of them feels good to paint. Or it could be that I want to make a surreal painting with burning owls, owls with skulls, a double exposed portrait or something like that, and I need to figure out how to paint those effects or additions. So give color studies a try if you haven't before. Maybe they will help you develop your art quicker. They've certainly been helpful to me. I hope you enjoyed this time lapse. Make sure to click like and subscribe if you did. I post painting videos like this every week and would love to have you along for the ride. Take care, stay safe and see you in the next one. Hey doll.